All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my studio. And today, I thought I would just go in, and I'm just gonna just gonna play around a little bit on my lunch break here at work. Uh, I'm at the office, but I thought I'd take, oh, you know, just a little bit of time to just to make something, just to put it together and make something nice. So we're gonna take a canvas. Oh, I think we're gonna go for a bigger canvas today. More of a vertical one, yes. Nice vertical canvas, not too big. So I made a mistake when I said that. And uh, I'm just gonna bring this in. I can feel the curtains right there. Actually, I'm gonna scoot myself over. Make sure I got lots of space. You need to have lots of space when you're in VR. You don't wanna bump into anything. You get hurt, and they won't wanna play with VR anymore. And that'd be a shame. So I'm just gonna go in and take some white. Put it down in a little, I think that's a mixing area. I don't know, don't really know the terms. I don't paint in real life. I do digital art. I'm a digital artist. So this is a fun little, just a nice little way to, to experience the joy of painting. I do it in a way that's both familiar and foreign to me. We don't need to go out spend oh, a couple thousand dollars on some paints and an easel and some oil in case I don't like it. I've already got the VR headset because I like the games. And just a little purchase of this one. Now I can create some lovely things. And all I'm doing right now is I'm just laying down a base coat. Just a mix of white. A mix of white and paint thinner to give us a nice slick layer just like the wet on wet technique. Because that works. No, we can actually blend things right here on the canvas, and we will. We'll blend things. I'm just going to bring this up a little closer. Make sure I get every little bit, every little bit nice and covered. There we go. Oh, it's not just nice. Good little canvas to start with. Okay. <laughs> now I'm going to clean the brush. And all you can do is you got to just wipe it off here, or my favorite. Beat the son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now, first thing you gotta do is figure out what it is you wanna do. What it is you wanna put here on this canvas. And I'm gonna think on that for a moment. I'm gonna check what came in behind me on my, my devices. But we'll think, what are you gonna put on this canvas? Could be anything. Could be anything. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Just my brother-in-law letting me know what's going on in his life and getting some emails. Busy, busy. Like I said, I'm just playing around. Just beating some stress out here my lunch break. But that's okay. Oops. Weird. Oh, it seems that there's some problems on the internet right now. It seems there's uh, Facebook issues for corporate groups. Ooh, wow. Well, that's okay. Hold still. Oof, that's strange. I'm gonna just leave that for now. Not too worried about it. Though it is messing with me. And what I can see here in my vision, but that's okay. Now, I do love that stormy sky out there. I'm gonna put the brush back for a second. I think I want a nice blue sky today. Keep doing them gray skies, but today we're, we want nice and blue. I'm gonna come in here. Just gonna load up this nice blue right here. And just as is, I don't wanna do anything with it, I just wanted it as is. All I'm gonna do is right at the top, and I'm 
just gonna crisscross. Just crisscross and get it nice and all over. Go in, get a little bit more. Come up from the other side. There we go. There we go. There we are. And just let it come down. Just let it come down. Here she comes. And just like that, with these little crisscrosses. Clean the brush off. It's mixing with the white on the canvas that's already there. And it's blending itself out. And I want it to come down. And I want it to get lighter as it comes down to the to the horizon. And I'm just going to pull it down a little bit, just like that. It looks like there's a little bit of a haze to it. A little bit of a nice hazy cloud. Here we go. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. There. Nope. Back and forth, ever so gently. Just gently. We're just smoothing it out. Okay. So there's a good sky, I think. I like that. I'm just gonna check my phones once again because this is some interesting, interesting news. What a, what a strange thing to have happened. Well, I do feel bad for Facebook. <laughs> Not, even though I am of course using an Oculus Quest 2. I don't support everything they do. I just like the cheap headset. That is it. If there was another option, <laughs> I'd be there. But right now in Canada, not so much. So you make do. All right, let's bring this back here. Okay. Um, actually, I'm just going to reorientate myself just a moment. There we go. I can step forward a bit more, and I got a bit more room around me. Okay. Now, of course, you don't even notice anything that happened. I don't think. Um, I know what I'm going to do. I saw a picture earlier today. Beautiful autumn road. It's the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. I think I'm going to go for that. Let's bring that magic the canvas. She got my room. Perfect. Lots of space so I can grab. And again with the messages, but I'm gonna just leave that be. No worries. It'll be there when I'm done. Gonna come in here, grab the black. Whew, just like that. Dip, dip. Clean that right up with the white. And we're just gonna start making a nice pavement color. And the asphalt's a little bit darker, so I'm just gonna come back here, get more of that black, bring that right in. Perfect. I won't need this just yet, but soon, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put some of that down here and get myself ready. Just prep a little bit ahead of time. Thinking ahead. Thinking however far ahead I want. Make sure it's nice and clean. I'm just gonna clean up the canvas again, and I suppose we'll need. It'll be nice and tree. So it's gonna be a good combination of different colors today, because we're gonna need the red and we're gonna need the orange. This is gonna be more of a fall picture. So normally, Bob would have you come in with your fan brush and do it this way, but we can't do. Let's go work the way. So we're gonna come in here actually with the one-inch flat brush, just like this. And again, I should probably mix up my color first. <laughs> so onto the palette with the palette knife. I'm just going to scoop up some red. Put it right there. I'm just going to come in here and get some of that orange. Get some of this nice yellow. There we go. Maybe a little bit of this, this golden color. There we go. That didn't work. No gold. So we'll go here. Come back in with the one inch flat. Press that on in. Load up the bristles. And so the road's going to come right up the middle. So we're just going to do way in the distance. And you always start with the back first and you come forward. You just want to push 
right into the canvas. Push, push, push. Just push it right on in there. It'll start to look like the trees where all the little animals live, all those nice little forest creatures. Way out there, far away. Oh, and somewhere in here is going to be the road. But it's far away, so it's really small. There's just a lot of trees out where I am. Canada's known for its trees. Kind of like Bob's Alaska. <laughs> nice and clean. Make sure it's good. We'll come in here now and we'll just grab that red, actually. We'll go right for the red now. I'm just going to press that in. Start giving a little bit of difference. Because in the fall, oh, the trees come in all sorts of wonderful colors. Oh, it's like the earth's on fire in the most lovely way. Like a, a warm, warm little campfire that just oh, warms your soul. And we'll just keep this up. We'll just keep this up for a little bit. Going between the different colors and always trying to come down further. Always trying to come further down here. Let the tree, let him come down a hill. Just like that. Start with your nice base. And cleaning your brush every so often gets that blue off there so it doesn't mix back onto your palette. And just press. Push that ink right on in there. Push the paint. Keep the shape of the trees. And all you can see is the leaves. All you need to do is just come on back. Get that in there. There we go. Don't worry if it's splotchy. We're not done yet. We are not done yet. There. That's one side. And let's finish out on this other one here. And we'll just keep on pushing. Push, 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 push. Just push that ink. And you just press it on in. Just like that. There. I'm just coming in and grab the red now. And we'll go in with that. Ooh, got a little bit carried away. That's all right. Never any harm done. We can go back in time if we need and undo something bad, but let's try to work with it. Let's try to make it work. There. So we got the concept, got the concept of the tree. So let's come on in with the two inch brush. Little circles, light as a feather, light as a feather. Just in this way and that way, clean it up. This way and that way, this way. Then push, 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 push. Clean it up. And we're just gonna swirl it, swirl it all up. Oh, this might not work out, but we tried, right? That's what's important. You have to try new things. Okay. I think we're ready for the road, actually. So I'm going to come in with my palette brush, throw with my palette knife, load it up nice and thick, and right on close, just come down, and you just scrape it. Scrape that old road right on down in there. That's one thing I like the palette brush for. I mean the palette knife. Really gives a good gritty earth texture. Exactly what you need. Just what you need. And the road's gonna come down this way. It's a bit of a perspective. It's gonna come like that. I think there's gonna be a hill that it dips on over before going all the way up right here. Keep on scraping. 
hard as you can. Push, lots of pressure. Lots of pressure. Load it up. And you push, you push, push, push. You get all that grit, all that texture. Let the paint do its thing. And that's what I like about Vermilion. I can get up and close. Personal with my painting. And this is right there. There you are. Well, actually, I'm gonna bring you on close. I'm gonna let you see what I see. So brace yourselves. A little change of perspective. Whoop. Here we go. As you can see, thanks to everything, we got a really nice texture all on that road. I'll put you back. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Uh, actually, clean up when you're done. Ooh, I'll keep that there just in case I need it. Now, I think, I think I'll actually take, nope, nope. Go back with the knife actually, whoosh. Scoop some of this up and we'll just put it on over here. Good clean brush, clean palette knife because we're gonna go ahead and get grab some of this white and just put a little bit there. With a cleaned up palette knife, just come on in a little more. That looks good. And we're just gonna give the lightest indication of the sunlight hitting the top. We're just changing it up. That's it. And I think the same thing will happen up here at the top of the hill. The sunlight has come in and just kisses the road. Gives a little hello. There we go. Just come with a nice clean brush. I'm just going to scrape this again. Get more of that texture. Scrape out. Scrape out a little bit. Carving it up, really giving a nice sharp line there. Now, I know that there should be some mighty trees coming up on the side, and they're not pines, so you can't do this to Bob Ross way. I've tried. <laughs> so I have to do something a little bit different. I'm going to go with my short bristle, and I'm going to turn it sideways like this. I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to have to make a tree color, so I'm going to go oh, with some of this red or brown, just like that. And clean off the brush. I take another this darker one. There we go. And I'm gonna turn the stabilizer on. And we're gonna go right up. Some gorgeous little trees. And they're just on the side of the road like this. And maybe these ones will go off into the woods a little bit. Now that I think about it, I should probably make the grass that they're on. So he's gonna come back and we're gonna forget that that ever happened. But the canvas doesn't. The canvas never forgets. Whoops. Oh well. Two inch brush. And we'll just, I don't even know where that came from, but it'll work. That is perfect. I hit the green, but that's what I wanted actually. So this is an excellent, this is an excellent Little mistake. I know that just looks a little bit like what a child might think a road looks like. I'm gonna tell you to shut the fuck up because I can draw this however the goddamn way I want. I am not an expert and I'm not a Bob Ross initiate, so making do with what I got from those skills and abilities to just make something I like. So again, don't tell me what the fuck to do. I'm just doing my best.
And that's all I can ask of you guys, too. Just do your best. Just try. I'll just pull it up, 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 pull it up. Just like that. Let's try with the one inch flat, actually. Let's see what happens with this. And again, hand stabilizer on. Pushing hard. There we go. Just getting some, getting the trees in there. It's definitely looking a little bit more pleasant. But it's such a simple piece. So simple because I'm a simple man who has simple pleasures on this earth. I should do better next time. But that's okay, you just gotta keep trying. Keep practicing, watch other people, see how they do it. Maybe have a painting party. Learn from one another. Nobody was born good at art. And natural talent will only take you so far. You'll get cocky. You will get cocky. One day, you just won't have what it, you won't have what it takes. And you'll end up stuck. So I'm going that bright with the orange again. I'm going to start pushing it in. Pushing in. Oh my god. The more I go through with this, the less I'm liking it. But you won't like everything you make. Nah, that's not how it goes. So you just gotta deal with it as it comes. Take the disappointments. Take the disappointments as they are. And the next time you go to paint, I've learned. <laughs> Doubtful I will. <laughs> okay. Just wrap that up. Wrap it up with the road has come back in. And has told this told this grass to go fuck itself. And everything's going to shit. So I'll just undo that. Try again. Trying again. Trying again and again and again to get it right. hateful <laughs> uh, I'm just teasing with you I'm just being self depreciating for no reason I shouldn't be just a little artist doing his best here on the big scary world of YouTube I have some big names I won't even know who I am and that doesn't matter because I don't give a shit who they are Blend this out. Oops. Don't do that. Don't get carried away. And don't. Okay. All right. Roads do have a nice little safety line on them. It's a bit of that yellow. 
there's a bit of that orange in there. Alright, now, because this is far away, we're going to start nice and thin. I said nice and thin. Too much. Now it's coming down here, and it's thicker. And it's thicker. And it's definitely something a child could have done. I shouldn't say that about my art, but that's okay. It's fine. I had a vision in my mind. Didn't quite go the way I wanted, but that's fine. Let's see what time it is. I better get back, get ready to go back to work soon. So what I'll do, I'll leave this here and we'll call it a nice little completed picture. As long as you finish something. As long as you start and you finish, that is what matters. And this video will be up, because you can see it, I'm just going to sign my name. There. There we go. Better than nothing. I'll just wish you all ooh, a nice little day. Take it easy. Don't stress. Don't worry. And just take life as it comes. And if it doesn't work out the way you want, no problem. You can always try again tomorrow. And that's what we'll do. We're going to try again tomorrow and make something just like this. A little bit different. A little bit better. Each and every time. <laughs> well, with that said, have a good morning, a good night, and a good day.